Hello everyone and welcome back to Twilight Princess from the Legend of Zelda series. I'm Sean. I'm Tanil. Why do you have so much trouble with the name of this game? I don't know. It's Twilight Princess first and foremost to me. Or the world ends with you. Shh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're on our way to go see if we can figure out where the Lanaru spirit is. Yeah. So we need to exit town. And make our way to Lake Hylia. Indeed. Excuse me, gentlemen. Bye. So you might think you keep going south. Wrong. If you go south, you're going to hit a dead end. Yep. We'll be over there later, so I don't even feel bad about not showing it right now. Yeah. There's not much we can do as a wolf in terms of, like, puzzle solving and such, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead, we need to come this direction. And run past more guys. We need to keep opening up more areas of the map where we can do nothing. <laughs> where we can just run through. I mean, that being said, the, like, these first three areas of the game here, mm -hmm. where it's like we're opening up all these... Great Bridge of Hylia. All these areas of Hyrule. Ooh. Lanayru is, without a doubt, the biggest. Oh, absolutely. Well, look at that tiny lake way down there. That's like Hylia? I mean, that's about the size it was in, like, older games. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just throwing shade at, like, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Hey, do you smell something funny? Whoop! Like, I just kind of whooped. <laughs> no animation, just kind of whooped out there. Uh -oh. Uh oh That's oil. There's oil on the bridge. This seems bad. Oh no, we're trapped. Get out of here. All right, sounds good. So, uh, push the box over. You can't actually Get wait the until the fire gets like all the way to you, but we it's need to jump suggested. off the bridge. Get out! Lake Hylia. Whee! Sploop. Bloop. Phew! That was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? So, this is Lake Hylia, but there's so little water. Sounds like the Spirit Spring should be somewhere around here as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. This is not a lot of water. What is that down there? Hmm. Hmm. Something we unfortunately cannot explore as a wolf. Nope. There are people here, though. Whoa, okay. Fish people! Please note that these are masks and not their actual faces. Yeah. We've had absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it. Something must have happened at the water source in our home Zora's domain. Ah, so these are the Zoras. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Zoras are fish people. Yet, how are we to return upstream to our home? With the way things are now, we can't even walk back there. Oh. Mm. The drop in, in water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Kylie will dry up. It's a race against time. Okay. Well, I guess we'll look at this house. Who's here? I'll check in a moment, but, uh... Just look at this place. Huh. What an odd-looking house. Oh. Not as odd looking as this guy. Hi. Um, 
I'm a little too old for this. Fire and Fabley's Watertop Land of Fantastication. It's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. Wee. Hmm. Yep, nice lake. Don't lakes. Uh, yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Did the Zoras who live up river do something? Or is it a curse from that spirit that floats around up there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. Was that a customer? Yikes, it's a monster! I just felt like that was a good that was a pretty voice. Good, pretty good voice. For a gross, scuzzy looking clown man. <laughs> I like that he has a red nose, not because he put a red nose on, but because he has that uh, that condition where it's like your nose gets all full of pus and stuff. What? You? Yeah. That's, that sounds gross. It is gross. Also, this bad guy's using the bird. I'm oh. not okay with this. Oh, that's not, that's not an eagle. No, that is an exploded head bird. Gotta say, these things do seriously just look like they're a bird, but their head exploded. Oh, oh. yeah, they kind of creep me out. Oh, and he's fired. Fire arrows at you? Not fair. What are we supposed to do about this? Get down here. Minna? Any help? Oops. Oh, hey! I did a bad. Ouch. We only have two hearts. Don't do a bad again. Yep. Alright, so what I'm supposed to do... Is wait for them to dive bomb us. Uh-huh. Come here. And then jump on him. And do that. Unfortunately, you can only do it once and then wait for him to do the dive bomb attack again. Thankfully, it looks like he's doing that right now. Come at us! Ha! That was very loud. Gotcha! Get down, buddy. I said, there you go. Down. Now we got this bird. Oh. <laughs> Minna's got the bird. Hey, stop it. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Wait, what about me? <laughs> hey, why don't we use this guy to get all get us all the way to the lake's water source? Okay. But isn't the spirit just like right over there? Yeah, don't worry right, about right it. Right over there? That way. Nope, we're traveling farther away. We're going to the source of the river. That's not currently running. Well, I guess it would be a good idea to find out what happened to the water. What happened? Oh, okay. Pilot controls. One of the few times you have to do this section. Zoom. There are pilot controls, so you have to reverse it. Do you have to have the camera so close to you? Um, I could back it up a little bit. There you go. Zoom. Going down. Oh dear, okay, oh, going down. That's not the direction I would have picked, but all right. Reverse controls. Oh no! Oh, no! no! I didn't realize that rock was also falling down. Hey, careful now. What do you think? Should we try it again? Well, yes. We, we gotta. We need to go that direction. Yeah, very important not to bump into anything here. Cause uh, you not only lost a heart, but you also have to do this all over again. And you can see on the mini map down there just how far it is we need to go. I mm -hmm. think you were actually pretty close to the end. Was I? Uh, you were at least like, Three quarters of the way there. Oh, the rocks are gonna fall again. Yeah, they are. Cause it's as if you never did it.
All right, let that one fall. All right, now go up. Carefully. Uh-huh. Okay. Here comes another one. Ooh. I like all the different, like, scaffolding and stuff that's been put along this area. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. It's really interesting looking. And like, I wonder, it's like, did Hylians put that together or did these monsters do that? Good question. But now we want to avoid all of these stalactites because they c will constantly fall then. Mm-hmm. So definitely be careful of those. All, all right. right, and we made it. We're in the clear. You're not in the clear until you actually make it through. All right. All right. Focus. <laughs> Now, there you go. I did it. First try. <laughs> I didn't get hurt at all. It's not like you have one heart left. I oh, don't. Hey, I see a howling stone. Yeah, I do too, and we can't get to it. Ooh, you're right. You're very right. There is no water in the river. Yep. <laughs> ah, we're already here. That bird turned out more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of the Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up. All right. But also. I mean, what are the Zoras up to anyway? The rivers run totally dry, right? I can't work like this. Ugh. C cold. Ah, I miss my fur coat. Uh, don't look at me, lady. You got a great haircut. I honestly love her hair. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, we cannot get across here because uh, there is no water. Yeah. So into the dry riverbed. Dry? I mean, oh. icy riverbed. Yeah. Guess on we go. More ice. Oh dear. It seems Zora's domain has been frozen once again. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ongoing uh, problem for them in all the Z uh, all of the Zelda games. All is in Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's going on there? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would all be frozen? This is the Zora village, right? Why don't I see any then? Well, anyway, let's check things out. Let's find the Zoras. Okay. Hmm. There's just nobody around. Yep. I think we can get up from here. Let's go. Be prepared for jumping. Although, look at all the, like... I, I like the the way you can see that this is, like, a different kind of rock. Yeah. Here. Well, there's, like, fossils and stuff. Uh-huh. It's really cool. Yeah. That's a really neat detail. Watch Wait for that, for that stalactite. one. Woo! The game automatically does that and it's terrifying. There we go, we made it to the top. Continue to ignore the bats because we're at very little health. <laughs> Hello, oh, hi. Whoa, look at all the spirits underneath the ice. I don't have time to look at that right now. All right, guys. Come at me. There we go. More importantly, taking out the baddies. A portal is opened here, too. We can finally warp. 
If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. We could do that, or we could use our senses. Oh! <gasps> oh, they're dead. Oh. Those, those are the Zoras. Wow, this really is strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. I think we need, I think what we, all we need to do is thaw them out. It does us no good to stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. Hmm, they're too cold. So clearly we need to... They really don't give you a whole lot of hints for what you need to do here. Nope, but, but you need to... We need to go back to Death Mountain. Oh, portals. There we go. Warp to Death Mountain! Because if they're too cold, we should heat them up. And what better way to heat them up than this? This thing has been here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. Let's warp it. They don't need it over there. Let's melt the ice. Midna, you are terrifyingly powerful. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you even need us for? <laughs> well, she's not gonna wander around by herself. <laughs> she needs something to ride. <laughs> In style. What's more wild and ferocious looking than a... Blue-eyed wolf? Literal wolf. Yeah. Boosh! There we go. That'll get rid of all this ice. The controller is vibrating madly. <laughs> it's vibrating so ferociously. Oh, hey, at least the water's running now. And hopefully we didn't kill any Zoras in the process of <laughs> putting that huge volcanic crater in there. Uh, who knew something so dangerous could come in handy? All right, the Zoras are safe now, so let's go. You do have a heart, Minda. The <laughs> ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. Can we finally meet the spirit of Lake Hylia? Uh, potentially. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Alright, they're probably all in generally the same state of, Oh, God. Oh, jeez, what just happened? Well. Wait! I'm sorry, what? No one should be able to see us. Oh. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people in this spring, which is the water source of all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of this Sora village and the queen of my people. I was called Rutalia. Rutella. Rutella? There's no eyes in there. You're right. Not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. Don't kid yourself, Minna. You were all like, we gotta do something to help them. <laughs> I know you. I know what you like. The Dark Ones, they raided this village and, as a message to my people, executed me before them. Holy cow, that's dark. Mm -hmm. Young man, you who take the form of a proud beast. Awu? I have something to ask of you. Who's a good boy? Oh, oh, Who's is it me? a good is it me? boy? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> who can tell me who the good boy is? Oh, 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 oh. 
When the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one, Raelus, to Hyrule Castle to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear the danger followed him from this doomed place. I feel it. His presence grows fainter to me over time. But my time in this world is past, and though I would give it gladly, I no longer have a life to risk in his rescue. Question. Yep. Do you see the the top part, their like forehead part? Is that like part of them or is that something they're wearing? Oh, it's part of them. Okay. I think it's just a coloration thing. If mm -hmm. anything, that part might be a little harder. Yeah. Than like their actual face. Yeah, their skin. Yeah, it's more like solid. Uh-huh. Like an armor yeah, kind of thing. More of like an armored scaly forehead thing. Yeah. Because if you're swimming around, you don't want to bonk your fleshy face into something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I just yeah wondered what you thought. Also, just like her ear flap, fin things. Her hair? Hair. Um, uh, Zoras aren't born that way. So they... She would have had to cut it that way. Meticulously cut her fleshy membrane fins. Uh-huh. A lot until it grew like that. Which is interesting choice. Uh-huh. But I kind of like it. It looks really cool. Also, the Zora, like, like necklaces and stuff. Mm -hmm. Super pretty. Anyway. But by the time this world has passed, and... But by, but my time in this world has passed, and though I would give it gladly... Oh, we already read that one. Oh, yep. Please, would you save my dearest... Prince Raelus. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, we could probably do that. We were just talking about your fashion sense. Mm-hmm. If you do this thing, I will bestow a weapon to upon bestow bestow upon you the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire. Yes. Yeah, swim and respire in very deep water as if you were a Zora. Breathe. Yes. <laughs> Please save my son. Hmm, so if we help her, she'll grant us the power to swim in deep water like a Zora, huh? Well, that's what she said. So, what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you should beat the prince as a wolf, huh? <laughs> so, no hurry to return to the world of light then, huh? Alright, well, uh, I guess we have a goal. Yep. And you might be wondering, how can we run across the water there? There's actually a grating a grade. directly underneath the water. Yeah, you can water. see it there. A little better. It's always a little confusing. Like, what the? How? How oh. do I stand? Oh. Okay. There is a lot of water now. Good. Looks like the shock of that impact not only raised the water level, but sped up the flow, too. This water should flow all the way back down to the lake. Why don't you let it take you there? All right, hop in. Whoops. Here we go. Wee! Wolves are not very uh Look at how fast we're going. Yep, wolves don't dive. <laughs> they just sploop and hit Sploop. the top of the water and keep going. And with that, we fast travel all the way back down to the lake. Oh look, his Here's boat is floating. Properly, Kylia. Yeah. Oh, aren't you awake yet? Sorry, I drowned a bit. <laughs> Just coughs up water. <laughs> look, we got washed all the way down to Lake Hylia, just as I predicted. And it looks like we're right in front of the spring spirit spring to boot. Talk about lucky. Well, let's go. Snap out of it and get to the spirit. All right. All right, all right. We're going, we're going. Spring of the spirit, Lanaru. Whoops. Oh, hey. You're getting a little zealous there, Wolf Link. Help. <laughs> Maru. Awu. Long live the king. No! <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> I am the last of the spirits of light consumed by twilight. Hero chosen of chosen one of the gods. 
You have done well to make it this far. Gather my scattered tears of light that were stolen by the shadow. Gather them in this. Hey, we got a vessel of light. We, you know how what this means. More bug collecting time. Well, not bug collecting. We do bug collecting as human. This is like bug eradication. Bug extermination. Yep. I am sure you know by now the forms that these dark insects take when they steal our light. In this shadow realm of twilight, the insects are invisible like the humans of this world. Collect my light, lift the final cloud of twilight that threatens the cover, threatens to cover all of Hyrule. And let me tell you, I know for a fact that is like a million times shorter than the original how many bugs you needed to collect. Oh, absolutely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the original it was like probably closer to 20. Yeah, like 20, 21. I'm actually really curious now. You should like, put it, up the actual number it was in the original. Ugh, okay, fine. Making me do research. Mm-hmm. And you know what? While we're here, these are the numbers you had to collect for the first two areas as well. Yeah. J just to show you that this game made some good adjustments. Also, we're very dead. We're very, very... Ooh, well, let's go kill some bugs and that will help uh, with our deadness. Our deadness? Yeah, because we actually restore health from collecting the Tears of Light. We do. Oh, there Speaking goes one. Speaking of which... Speak of those buggies. Let's head this direction we haven't gone yet. Here, bugaboo. There you are. Got him. Now please. Ha, that restored one pip of health. All right, if you look at the map, we have two more White dots. Light dots, oh, okay. <sighs> okay. There's I been mean, a lot of these. Yeah, they have to set up teleport locate, like warp locations. Yeah, and even though it feels like we've been getting to these locations very quickly, it's because the game has been fast traveling us. The actual distance between the locations of these is pretty big. Um. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Hands in the air and it's good to be a. Ouch. Oh. That hit me once and I died. Yeah, because they take out two hearts. I forgot that they do two hearts. Yeah. Because well. in the original game they do one whole heart. Let's let's so retry. So in hero mode they do two hearts. Yep. Yep, you are correct. Ugh, okay. Hey, you're back up to three hearts now, at least. Yeah. You won't get one shot. Yep, now I have an extra hit. That being said, I already collected that one bug. Yes, yes, yes. I want to skip. Let me skip. Please skip. Any skippage would be appreciated. Nope. Ah. Take him out. Come here, boys. Oops. Hello. Hello. I What's going was, on? I thought I was locked on. Oh, oh. you you missed. I, I I screwed up. Yep. It was just a little bit too far. Yeah. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. There. Oh, still almost too far, but I got it. Mm-hmm. Even if you have them both, like, locked on with Minna's thing, like, I've noticed sometimes Wolf Link can't actually hit both of them. Yeah. You so kind it's of... something you have to be careful of. All right, so I think the bug... Oh, there it is. I can actually see it. Right there. I think that one was about to dig into the ground, but he did not get the chance. You stopped him. I stopped him. I stopped him. I will let you know that in the original game, there was... Definitely one over here. There was a bug right back here, yeah. right on the back side of this guy's floating house. Speaking of which, let's talk to him. Customers won't come, even though the water's back. Maybe no one knows. 
Perhaps I should go tell folks around town. So tired. <laughs> wow, mood. <laughs> uh, speaking of being tired, this is actually the end of the episode. So, uh, join us back here next time as we continue looking for the rest of these silly bugs <laughs> and ending the bug catching contest for good. Yeah. No more bugs after this. Yeah. Almost done. See you guys then. Bye-bye.